we'll be talking about matters arising, matters that are worrying you, worrying me. In some way, eh, 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 fire, hmm, oh, oh, we are trying to resolve that on this um, show, especially on the social segment. And then, the other people who want to ask them, child labor. Eh, bia, in Kualana, I'm on the street, and 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 I'm Bibi eh hami, you understand? But I like what they are selling and I can't say say I will not buy it. Sometimes I even buy more than I'm supposed to so that umbe kofie and tem. But this is an issue a eh hard ring. E po umbe fishing communities no be hunse nkwalani bi na omu et e wo pone so na omu nkwalani e bi mo timi swim me kwache empenye for no omu e se fish na nkasa so they can throw themselves into the sea and move they are the ones that go into the, the, the sea to bring the net out. When now is it child labor? And I say, eh, you cannot say, eh, you juma me, you inti me chere me banu, na so niya, na we take it over. Because you agree with me also, say, businessmen, no, Omo de ebi a obi a oni TV station obi a oni processing company ono sope chere ne ban e juma ne nso kakra kakra is that also child labor? And I say eka child labor. We are looking at inkwala omo bua omo ebi a from the poor homes a omo bua omo mami and I say omo papa nom ebi a free school a ban ne mami chibo floats ne amani kakra and I say baba it's na huna watu. I remember when my mom used to sell a few things. Ebi a me pon school ba na makot na hu. Was that child labor? If it's the case. Is a dena say um who be authorities now now say institutions that are taxed to um look after these things no what are they doing about it? What at all does even the law say about it? If, is it even a crime in the first place? Um, the one in the studio is Peter Entry, but we will be talking to El Ankara on phone as well. And these two gentlemen are focal persons on child labor for the Ministry of Employment and Labor Relations. And then Mr. Mamen Kobebia saying so now be here, Mr. Wanawape ex natural mineral water nibi at the sea won't change. Not your picture train sign Good morning. Good morning, Abana. How are you doing? By God's grace, I'm fine. Do you have children? Yeah, I do. How many? Three. It is almost a call out idea. What's the what's the first um, reaction that you, you get? Abana, it, it it pains me a lot when Please I see children. Please amplify your voice for it me. It pains me a lot when I see children on the streets mm. who are not in school. You see, we say the children are future of our nation. Mm -hmm. So we need to keep them in a safer place. You need to bring them up in a special way that they can become good citizens and take the mantle of the nation. Right. So if we don't take good care and we allow them to be anywhere, it means our future is it's at stake. At stake, very serious. Right. So let's start from the beginning. Child labor. What exactly is child labor? Because when some more nine year old will fear, I tell you, I'm going to fear now. I told me, "Pam, me, and I say, 'We are with CCM, whole." So what, what exactly is child labor? I uh, thank you. Um, I'll take you to the Constitution of Ghana. Mm. And if you go to Article 28, Subsection 2, it talks about child labor and it says, if I'm, I have to quote, that every child mm -hmm. has the right to be protected from work that constitutes a threat to its health, education, and development. So three key things are here. Mm -hmm. So you said you should try to go in trees. So you can't child labor. You can't say what they are doing. They can say, "Omo ne ejuma, eje juma dunya, eburu omo ahu denso." When they pass up, I know we raise your voice, I'm not aware. Eburu omo ahu denso. Ebe si wansu kukuwa hongo kwa anasa omo kusuku kura omo ni ya kwa insu ya di. When they come to me kusuku, but obe kwa na wabro be ya juma sa anti omo ni ya kwa insu ya adi e wosku mo ogodro na wada. Ye kasa ante de ye kan obe fi obe ya juma nti we oku school na se de no ye o school mo mo de na so enye school no ko en kwada ye juma bi e be nyan sunsan so wo mo eh apomuden ho okay en na omo ntumi nyine ye na em se mi wa kwada bi e wo ma kura se fe ne se man se boy so ye wo hu na se wo ye so ye akwala so ye penye you can't tell it me ye sa nti ye kan chale but that is what we talking about not every work so we talking about that type of work which has that negative impact on the health, okay. on the education and development of the child. Okay. So if any work is able to 
any of these. So the constitution did not use the word and, it mm -hmm. used all. It means any one of them puts the child in the ca child labor category. Okay. Um, we'll come back to we'll come back to it, but as I indicated earlier, we'll also be talking to El Ankara on the phone as well. He is the head of public um, affairs for Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. Hello, El. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm fine. How are you too? I'm good. Um, so, El, do you have children? How many children do you have, if you have any? I have three. You have three. And uh, it yes. means that you're passionate about this, ain't he? I'll start um, with the conversation. Um, um, wasn't it? Peter was talking about the constitution and what, um, uh, how it clearly defines child labor. So, yes. also, to follow up on, on it, Makashi and I said, I was nine years old, and also, my man, I was a little bit of 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 uh, you started by talking about the case on the street that Sarah and Lewa and the same you buy yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes parents get to engage their children to help them in their work. Mm -hmm. And that is not child labor. When a child is in the house and doing household chores, that is not child labor. When I was a kid, my mom had a shop at the market at the top. She used to sell um, clothes and material. And during vacations and sometimes after school, over the weekend, I'll go up there and help her arrange mm -hmm, the things mm -hmm. in different colors, so get to know how money is counted and all that. It isn't child labor. Child labor is when you are engaging the child in, uh, in work that takes him or her away from school. Okay. So sometimes you go around town, you see children loitering around in the market, in the streets, all over the place during school hours. That is not acceptable. Child right. labor is when you engage the child beyond certain working hours, like late into the night, mm -hmm. or the child is working under hazardous conditions. The child is working on farms, on mines, on riverfront. You, you see the children uh, in, in, under those circumstances. The child says, I am tired, and you say, No, go on. Sometimes we beat the children to do what we want them to do. And the child says, I'm hungry. You don't, you don't allow the child to eat or get, get the child to have fun. Children are supposed to grow on dreams and not on their face. They are supposed right. to be thinking about those things. Right. And the moment you, you draw them away from that, especially from the education, and especially if it has an effect on their health, then we, it constitutes child labor. Okay. So I know that sometimes what we do is, Abia hey, Mehu, Say a uh, situation where wahaka kra, me who say where wahaka kra, and so I'll just assume say this is a problem because maybe I've seen it once or twice, but for all you know, it is not. And to, um, what I'm trying to ask is how rampant is it in here? We've seen children on the street, and we've seen children in the fishing communities. Is this a canker? And if it is, uh, how many of our children are into this? And in what sectors is it also rampant? Seriously, I wish um, uh, I wish I could tell you that oh, um, in the cities it is not as rampant as it will be in the villages. Right. But then, as you said, we see them on the street; they they they, they are engaging in begging, and the excuse we give ourselves: oh, these are these are children from Mali or from Wagadu; mm -hmm. they are not Ghanaian mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. and, and okay, sometimes um, uh, you see them in the market all over the place. Right here in Accra, right. so it is very rampant. You see them in, uh, as I said, you see them in the villages. There is also what we call weird forms of child labor, where mm. you engage the child in some form of illegality, be it prostitution, be it criminal acts, like you are sending the child to go and um, and, and, and do pickpocketing, be it war crimes, and giving the child ammunition and all that to go out there, and then very very hazardous situations where you are throwing the child into a river to go deep down. And, 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 and go and find ways of mending mess and all that. Those are the worst forms of, of child labor. Right. So it is prevalent over here. The data, I don't have the latest um, on data. Just yesterday we were engaging, Ghana was engaging the international labor organization right. on the uh, activities we are doing to care of this. So it is all over the place, especially in the rural areas where we don't get to see them. We are making every effort to make sure that we curb it. 
Okay. I think we always um, talk about it in the sense that it's only the poor people that put their children through labor. But again, mm -hmm. um, as I indicated earlier, sometimes there are rich people who own businesses who train their children sure. to be able to mm -hmm. take over um, um, their, their businesses. As well. At what point do you know that you are pushing the child too much? Okay. Um, Oshia Mikwami is a great friend of mine. I hope you know Oshia Mikwami. Yes. And she has engaged his children. His children, in, yes. Uh, Brand uh, ambassadorship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Santi, mm -hmm. they are doing wonderfully. They, they do music and all that. And I get calls. Your friend is engaging in child labor and all that. Mm -hmm. And I try to explain that. First of all, the children are in school. Mm -hmm. Both uh, and Santi are in school. And... Uh, and they are very brilliant at what they do in school. Secondly, uh, they are not the primary source of income for their parents. Mm -hmm. They are doing it as a, 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 a way of fun. They are, you can see that they are enjoying themselves. Right. Number two, they never do that during school hours. Number three, that they, they never do that during school hours. They are in school. They never do it late into the night. They, they are not forced to do it. They don't want to do it. They will do it. This, so, this is where the lines are drawn. Mm -hmm. There is never, never a, a rule anywhere in the world that says you should not engage your child or your child should not help you in your work. It is when you are doing it and it's taking away his or her education and it's having an adverse effect on his or her mm -hmm. health. Okay. All right. Um, so, Al, I'm glad you mentioned uh, Ochiame Kwame and you indicated yes. that he is your friend. So, yes. what have you done about it? I, I'll talk to, um, Peter is also in the studio, so he, I would ask about the loss and I'll come to you again. But what yeah. have you done about it personally since you said he's your friend? Yeah, uh, Peter is a technical man on the front. He has a lot of information. He's I, 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 can I can that. tell. I can tell. Yeah, he's my boss at that. And I'll tell you what i There is nothing I have to do about it. If I, if I smell in the slightest possible way, that he's expressing his children, mm. I will go and kick the fence out of him. And mm. he, their children are not being exploited. Just this weekend, I, I was with them, and he, the, the little kid, was supposed to be doing uh, some IT assignment. He was grumbling, and the parents are getting what we're getting hard on him. So that's it. Making sure that the child, that the child is in school, mm. but above everything, if the child is supposed to help you in your career or doing anything that has to do with income generation, make sure the child is enjoying it. The right. child is having fun with it. Make mm. sure the child is using it also as a learning process. Um, sometimes we we engaging them because yeah, it is my dream. I I was born. Um, a farmer, I was born a fisherman, I was born a trader, and it would be ridiculous for anyone to ask my son about farming, and my son has no idea what no it idea. is about. Right. You, you want to use the opportunity to teach the child, right? But it must be during 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 the weekends, it must be after school, and even after school, you can't say, Oh, because it's after school, the child can wake up anytime. Yeah. Because the child must go to bed by eight o'clock and wake and have enough sleep in and wake up and come back to the classroom the following morning and be alive and alert and be able to be engaged okay. in the class. So yeah, those demarcations are very clear. All right. So, uh, um, um, hold a, hold a thought. Now, we want to talk about the consequences because to every action, there's equal opposite reaction. Now, if I put my child into uh, uh, child labor, what am I expecting if the law grabs me? I wanna, I'll, I'll come there. But before I come there, I want to add something to what El okay. said okay. concerning the, yeah. the uh, types of child labor that you mentioned. You were uh, make mention make mention of uh, your child who lays your bed and other things. What that constitutes Please child don't labor. say it's child labor. <laughs> no. You see, in the beginning I said children we had not saying children shouldn't work. That is not what the law yeah. says. Yeah, definitely. So if you take the children's act, part seven of the uh, part five is devoted to children and then their working relations mm -hmm. that so there are types of work children are supposed to do. Right. So children from 13 to 14 years are supposed to engage in some type of work, which we call uh, light work. Okay. Yes. Then from 15 to 17, they are permitted to engage in work. They are supposed to be, they can be employed, mm -hmm. but not in hazardous work. Right. I will explain what the hazardous work mm -hmm. is. Then that should be under adult supervision. Okay. Because, you see, when you are a child, you don't have that, uh, your yeah. brains are not much mature that you can anticipate some hazards and other things so that you may move away from it. That is why you need to protect them from all this. 
So this will lead me to the uh, consequences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That if you engage children in this labor, mm -hmm. one, you are taking them out of school. Mm -hmm. They were all from vocational training. When this happens, you are preparing them for poverty and vulnerability because what they are getting now and they think is money in the next near future, it will be peanuts to them. And by nature, when they get to their 20s, 25, 30s, they will get married and they will give birth. And then you are going to do a cyclical poverty because of the child labor that was involved. Okay. It will have effect on their health, as you mentioned. Some can even die through child labor. So we have death, we have a total a disability that can come about as a result of engaging in child labor. There are people who are having a serious, the semantic boy issue I mentioned, yes. <laughs> yeah. Some are having stunted growth because of heavy loads they used to carry when they were children. No. We were in the program, a man said he can't even turn. When he's done, he needs to turn. He has to turn the whole body. He can't turn the leg because of some heavy loads he was carrying. So these are some of the consequences. But the basic one is you prevent the child from becoming who he, is to, he needs to be in the future right. by limiting his chances and opportunities. Okay. El, can you hear me? You're still there, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes okay, so I'm asking this question. I saw mm -hmm. something online about the, um, what's it called, the penalties if yes. you are caught. Now, it said that um, you either pay a thousand Ghana cities or it's two years imprisonment or you can have both. Is, is this, is this yes. correct? Uh, was it penalty you saw a thousand cities? Yeah, I saw a thousand Ghana cities and then two years imprisonment. So it's either you, you get one or you get both, depending on the gravity. Is it, yes. <laughs> okay, let L come in after that. I will, oh, I will, I will, okay, I L. Yeah, yeah I, I, I also agree with uh, and I think it's more or less the, the, the penalty points rather mm -hmm. than the amount. But I know where you're taking this to. I'm saying you don't think it's strong enough. It's exactly. Enough enough exactly. To, to, to deal with the situation. And well, that would be for the normal cost to handle. The, the thing, the, the dicey part of it is when there are issues of this nature concerning a family, mm -hmm. they don't like to tread cautiously. The, 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 the worst form of child labor where parents, you get some parents trafficking their own children, a mother exactly. or a father selling the child. So the point is, you know, if the penalty is, is very harsh, I mean, the, 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 the child um, authorities, the, 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 the authorities that handle issues with children, and, when, uh, and the legal authorities have a way of handling it so that there is no um, disaffection between parents and child, and that very, that very parent that's supposed to raise the child properly. If you can't raise the parents or you punish the parents, Effectively, uh, what the fed is going to is going to have. So then, they, they resort to ways of maybe counselling or other means. But then the penalties are big, and in most cases, uh, the parents are punished heavily, and they make sure they they, they face the consequences of their activities. Right, but is it is it not also um, a bit disheartening because we still see the children on the streets? You, see, I'm pretty sure you see them as well, and they yes. are still yeah. there. So, what is your institution doing about it? Because I'm tempted to say that you are not doing what you have to do well, because we are still <laughs> seeing the children on the streets. No, if you uh, I guess, I guess. well, I would say you are entitled to your opinion, but if you say that it means. You are not you are not being fair to government. I also come from not challenging what you're saying. Yes, you see them on the mm -hmm. street, but and government is communities. and government is also doing a lot. Mm -hmm. You see, the causes of child labor. If you want to go to what one, we say poverty is poverty, one of the number yeah. one cause, and then other vulnerabilities resulting from maybe diseases, ailments, even death. When people die, their children, if they don't have good person who take care of them, it can end them in child labor. People also engage people in uh, children in this labor because as a result of wickedness and greediness, they want to <laughs> earn, get cheap labor mm -hmm. and earn more profit. So these are all causes of it. For go government, in trying to address this, has instituted a lot of measures in addressing that. If I mention the school feeding program, that is one thing government thought of to do so that you get children to be in school. You know the capitation grant where children... Uh, the, all the public schools, children do not pay any fees. Mm -hmm. Government is absorbing that. This is to ensure that parents do not bear these costs. Mm -hmm. And government is elevating them of this hardship so that they can take their children to school. Okay. Then the school feeding program, I mentioned that yes. one. Yes. And then LEAP, yeah. the Livelihood Leap. Empowerment Against Poverty mm -hmm. Project is one. And then now the free SHS. Here you see the government is now extending 
the basic school from KG to SHS. This is to ensure that children remain in school till SHS, so that by that time, they might have gained some skills. There are other projects and programs ongoing with government and other partners. Government has designed and implemented plan of action, we call the National Plan of Action for the Elimination of Child Labor. We okay. did one from 2009 to 2015. We had a second phase, which started from 2017. It will end in this year. And all the ministries that are responsible for protecting children, Minister of Agriculture, is there, local government, Minister of Health, Minister of Education, they are all part of this. So there is a National Steering Committee on Child Labor right. that sits with the Minister of Employment. And my minister is the chairman of that. So these are what government are doing. Uh, government is doing to address child labor. But as you said, yeah, there are there are, yes, yes, there are some there. So mm -hmm. L, um, <laughs> where, where do you think you are failing at this point? Yeah, you know, uh, actually, you know, uh, <laughs> this lady is in the ground, and I know what she's looking for. She's looking for an aggressive activity, that something that will grab uh, offenders uh, by, by the throat and deal with them. So more or less, uh, you're looking at arrest and maybe a uh, strict up penalty. Uh, but then, yeah, like I said earlier, yesterday we addressed the International Labor Organization and uh, after our address on how we are handling child labor, mm -hmm. and uh, all the contributors were quite satisfied. You know, like Entry said, poverty is one key reason why, uh, one key cause uh, for, for child labor. So, I mean, I did my national service in the, uh, in the, in the, in the village. So you can see most people are giving birth uh, because they know these children will come and help in the trade, in yeah. whatever work they do, whether it is in the family or all that. So the primary uh, intent for the child is not about his or her education, mm -hmm. but it's about uh, helping me on the farm. Right. So then the activity that in, let, let's do something that helps them on the cocoa farm, the, the, one of the prevalent areas where um, children are engaged in child labor. Uh, so, so government comes in with uh, measures and activities that ensure that yeah the parents get a yeah. bit of a support. Like Henry also mentioned, yeah, he mentioned school, school feeding uh, and all that, so that well that burden is taken off from the parents. So, All right. 